I just heard the doorbell ring. Yes, yes, yes. I got a package. Oh yeah, I can already see it. Oh, I am so excited. Welcome back to my beauty space. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Natasha. Let me first start out by telling you guys, I did receive a DM from Wet n Wild and this was on December 7th. Now I did enter in the December 5th giveaway and they said, hey love, you are the one of the lucky winners of day five of the 24 day giveaway. Send us over your best shipping address plus phone number and we will get this out to you. Although these makeup companies have so many followers, still enter in the giveaway. Let me tell you, do not be discouraged when you're entering in these giveaways because you never know. We're gonna open this on camera. I have my box cutter here and I'm just gonna open up the sides. Ah, oh goodness, I am so happy. And it does have like the bubble wrap on it. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. In this box, you do get four pigments. You get two eyeshadow quads. You have your bronzer right here and you get two different shades, as well as two different highlights, which is blue is giving me so much life right now. And then you get four lipsticks, which I will be trying out. You can already tell from the look that I have today, I am going to be doing the ice side. This is all the ice products that I will be using today. Of course, the bronzers as well. I will be using this in this tutorial. If you guys want to see what look I do with the ice side, please keep watching. We are gonna get started with the look. The first product I'm gonna grab is the Wet n Wild and this is their concealer and I'm going to put concealer as my eyeshadow base. And today I'm just going to use my finger to blend in this concealer. I don't know if you guys can tell and I'm like super excited about this. I did my eyebrows blue. The first shadow that I'm gonna pick up in the Mythic Cool Creatures palette. This palette is stamped, so you have your transition, your brow bone, your crease, as well as your lid. If you are a beginner, this is definitely helpful for you, but I'm going to switch this look up a lot, so I probably won't use these the way they're listed right here, but that's okay. So the first shade that I am gonna pick up is the transition shade, and I'm just taking a fluffy brush. Now you want to tap off any extra, And I'm just using windshield wiper motions to apply this eyeshadow. Once again, I'm gonna pick up that same shadow. Next, I'm gonna go into the brow bone shade right here. Grabbing that same shadow, tap off any extra. I am going to do something a little different. So the eyelid shade, I'm actually gonna put that in my crease. Inner corner and outer corner. And we're gonna grab the lid shade once again. And I am dipping my brush in there kind of hard to make sure I pick up a lot of product. Tapping off any extra. So freaking excited. So for the center part of my lid, I am gonna go into the pigment Tonight Blue. So you can close it without the pigment, you know, falling everywhere. So that is really cool. And I'm actually gonna pour a little bit into the lid. And I'm gonna grab a flat brush. I'm gonna spray it, of course, with the Wet n Wild setting spray. Look at this. And then I'm going to pick up the crease shade in the palette. And then I'm gonna place this kind of just in the center of my eye. I'm just grabbing the rest of the product out of there. And then I'm going to grab the crease shade. I'm 
Just taking another flat brush and we're going to blend this blue shadow. I keep going back and forth whether I should do black eyeliner or blue eyeliner. And this is just a liquid lipstick from Wet n Wild. This is called Darkness Falls. And I'm going to do my liner. banana powder so I'm just taking some black eyeliner and I'm just tight lining know I've been using my little jewels you probably can't see it's these two right here so I did add some black eyeliner kind of in my waterline and I'm gonna add it in my outer corner as well and in the center of my lid I'm gonna put a nude shade I'm also gonna pick up a, another loose pigment. So this is the swatch of Ice Ice Lady. And I did not swatch the Tonight's Blue. So I'll swatch that for you as well. So Tonight's Blue, our inner tear duct shade is gonna be Ice Ice Lady. I'm just spraying my brush with some setting spray right now. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. some mascara lashes are on we are good to move on the next shade that we're going to take is the transition shade which we're gonna actually put this on the outer corner of our waterline we're going to take the blue shade which is the crease shade. And I'm gonna put this where I have the nude eyeshadow. I'm gonna remove the setting powder under my eye, down the bridge of my nose. My lower lash is done. I'm just going to put some mascara to complete the look. You can never look cute putting on mascara, like ever. So the first bronzer that came in the box is You're Dragging Me On. So that's this one. And I think this is the, going to be the one that I use. And then the second one is Queen's Land, which is right here. But it looks like Queen's Land is a little bit warmer and You're Dragging Me On is a little bit darker. So I'm gonna use You're Dragging Me On for my bronzing shade today. I'm just taking a contour brush, <laughs> tapping off any extra. I don't have to bring this down to my neck today because I'm wearing a turtleneck. <laughs> Picking up the shade once again, tapping off any extra. And I still feel like using blush today, so I'm just going to take a blank um. pink blush. I am going to still contour my lower jawline. And we're just gonna let that sit for about five minutes and then I will brush it off. But in the meantime, I will swatch the Wet n Wild. These are the highlighting powders. So 
freaking beautiful. So Halo Walker is just one of my favorites. This is the blue highlighter. Oh my goodness, that's what it looks like on my finger. And then I'm gonna swatch on my hand. Oh, so pretty. For some reason I always like to smell makeup. And then I have Winter Falls in LA. And this is stunning, like stunning. And I'm gonna swatch this. This is what it looks like on my hand as well. I'm not the best at swatching, but they're super pigmented. So let me go ahead and just brush away my setting powder. Grabbing my fan brush. I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray, of course. And we're gonna grab Halo Walker. I, I feel bold today, like I feel like I can do this. So I'm gonna grab Halo Walker. Oh, oh. So I'm gonna go back into winter in LA. Spray my brush with some setting spray. So pretty. Tap off any extra. I'm just gonna do my Cupid's bow. And then I'm gonna use my finger because I'm gonna do my nose. looks like like on my skin tone so it has like a little bit of greenish blue Ooh. so shall we slay is right here and icing on the wall is right here I think I'm gonna use shall we slay because I do have so many blue vibes on my face right now is like tickling my lips. So I'm gonna take Halo Walker and I'm gonna place this in the center of my lips. Wow, what in wild you outdid yourself on this one. The ice collection is seriously my favorite. I feel like this is giving me all type of Aaliyah vibes. I don't know what video this is giving me. So now that the look is complete, I am going to spray my face with some setting spray so I do not become a grease ball throughout the day. This is the completed look. Now, although I did win this in the giveaway, I think this did retail for about $40. And so far, just by using the eye side of this collection, I must say it's worth it. I mean, my eyes look so beautiful and just the overall look came together so well. So I'm super excited about this. Once again, I just wanna thank Wet n Wild. I am so appreciative of winning this giveaway. I'm so happy that you guys do giveaways around this time. And I just wanna show my subscribers that real people can win, even if you have a small following. Remember also too, like I said, don't get discouraged. Just because you have a smaller following, make sure you just follow all the rules that they tell you to do. So make sure you are a follower of theirs on Instagram, make sure you follow their YouTube page. I think that was like one of the options as well. And then the last one was tag a friend. To all my new subscribers, hello, I see you guys. I am so excited to have new viewers on my channel. I really appreciate the support. To my oldies but goodies, you guys are amazing as well. You guys have held me down this long and I just appreciate all the comments and all the likes and shares that I've been getting on my videos. So I definitely appreciate everyone. Until my next video, of course, I miss you guys. And as always, I will see you guys later. Bye.